All right, I love this guy. The following contest is a no holds barred match. Making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 230 pounds, Negron. If you listen to After the Bell this week, you know this is a match I've wanted to see for quite some time, and it's almost time to start. The look of focus and determination on his face. He wants to show the world that he can compete on this high level. And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 228 pounds, the Superstar. Just look at the swagger on display. I love it. Swagger. Really, Saxton? You know a number of people in the back just despise this superstar. Well, the WWE Universe clearly disagrees with you, Corey. Oh, what else is new? He is physically and mentally prepared for the task at hand in this big time match. There's been some discussion about what exactly a no holds barred match means. Corey, what's your take on it? Just a fancy way of saying you can do whatever the hell you want. As long as you pin or submit the other competitor in the ring, go nuts, which is exactly what I predict these superstars will be doing momentarily. Well placed, elbow to the leg. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal form. From the top. Oh, and this is going to be it. Yeah, no. Three. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. And it seems like you have to be at least a little sadistic to be victorious in an ODQ match. Oh, come on, Cole. It's not about being sadistic. It's about being smart. There's no safety net in a no disqualification match, and that's a big factor in succeeding. There's nothing sadistic about it. What's he got in mind here? Oh, put down face first. Ooh, man. Taking aim on the arm. Able to reverse. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Uh oh, this is going to be ugly, guys. Look out. Short jab. It's raining down those shots to the back of the neck. So it's just a beat down. Boom! Ends 
Enzagiri finds its mark. He reverses it. Nice. That'll even wake you up or knock you out. Ooh, that caught with a punk to the face. Lifted way up. Oh, atomic drop. And an inverted atomic drop. Chest in. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. He was waiting for him to make his move. Ooh. He's positioning himself, closing in. Taken down with his own move. Amazing. Now hook it him up. Face Buster. Reversal. What a counter. Overhand right lands. Oh, he slammed his face right into the barricade. Delivered into the barricade. Oh, there's the old stump puller leg snap. Very effective. And he slides him back to the mat. sink in there, but to no avail. He got whipped into that corner. Close quarters, wicked knee. Oh, looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. He turns it around. Here we go. He may be in a bad way here. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Saw it coming. I have to say, I feel like we are just one move away from claiming a winner in this one. One more move or one more misstep, either one can do it. Punishing their opponent. Nicely done. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. Get ready to raise his hand. Oh, 
shoulders down. Kicks it up, just kicked it. I'm pretty sure everyone in the building thought that was going to be the end of it, myself included. It is unreal that this match is still going on after a maneuver that would end most matches. And Zagiri finds its mark. such a closely